So hello and welcome back. We are in the month of March, which means we are no longer doing specifically love-related quests, and we are back to doing just memorable and fun quest lines. So if you have any as suggestions, drop them down below. This one actually came to me when I was first thinking about doing this series, and it was one that one of my sons actually suggested, and that is the John J. Keishan questline in Lakeshire in the Eastern Kingdoms. So we're going to do that, but first a few pointless little things about this quest chain. Um, number one, I'm an idiot, and most of my life up until just recently, I thought that this quest chain was referring to the A-Team, a TV show from the 80s, but no, it's actually got way more to do with um, the movie Rambo. Probably the reason I didn't know that is because I still have never seen the movie Rambo. Roast me all you want, just haven't ever seen it. So that's probably why I never got the reference. So without further ado, Let's get the team back together and uh, see what's up with John J. Keishan. I should probably also let you know that before you do this quest chain, you actually have to do a few opening quests just as you come into the town of Red Ridge. You've got a couple little quests that will eventually lead you to picking up this quest with Colonel Trotman. So there he is. Hello, Colonel Trotman. What do you have Light for us today? You. He says, will you do whatever it takes to save your kingdom? I mean, maybe. Be careful. John J. Keishan. You ever heard of John Keishan Barrel? I was his commanding officer throughout all three great wars. Let me tell you, that man has killed more orcs than any man alive. If any man can stop the Blackrock Orc invasion, it's John J. Keishan. We need to get him to help us, or Lakeshire will be nothing more than a mound of rubble and ash after that massive Blackrock army marches through Elwyn. I heard that he was fighting in the underground fight club at the Lakeshire Inn. Find him and tell him everything you know. All Go right, on, well. friend. Let's go find the Fight Club. Although the first rule of Fight Club is... Dot, dot, dot. All right, here we are at the Lakeshire Inn. And if you listen, you can hear the Fight Club in the basement. Quite the little Fight Club going. It looks like it is John J. Keishan versus Big Earl. Well then. I would let them finish their fight, but I'm not sure that they're going to finish anytime soon. All right, well, excuse me, Mr. Keishan. Help you. Help these people. These people that would rather spit on me than crack a smile. Hmm. This ain't my war. They asked me to fight in those wars. I didn't ask them. I did what I had to do to win. So I ended up getting captured by those filthy, crap-swilling maggot orcs, and for five years they used me as a toilet. Finally, I break out, and I head back to my hometown, and what do I get? People spitting on me, protesting me, calling me a baby orc killer and all kinds of crap. No, I don't think I'll be helping you. You go back to Trotman, and you tell him, this ain't my war. So as you can see, Keishan's got a little bit of PTSD, but, you know, like he said, he says it's not his war. Let's go tell the Colonel. Colonel, I got bad news for you. What can I do for you? For the Alliance? Trotman sighs. I'm not giving up on him, Beryl, and I'm not giving up on Red Ridge. We need to boost his spirits, rouse the slumbering monster within him. That doesn't sound good. Go with honor, friend. All right, so two new quests, Weapons of War. Light bless you. What I'm about to ask of you isn't going to be easy, Beryl. 
Keishan left everything back there in that orc prison, and I'm not just talking about his soul or his will to live. If we're going to get Johnny ready for war, we need to recover his prized possessions. The orcs now hold Keishan's bow and his survival knife. Head to Anther's Mill, east of here, and look for two orc lieutenants, Murdunk and Homerunk. They've got Keishan's gear. Get it back. I'll be in touch with the Gnome Quarter. All right. Be careful. And in search of Bravo Company. For the Alliance. If you and Keishan are going to defend Lakeshire, we are going to need to find his old battalion. Last I heard all of them, Messer, Jorgsen, and Cockner, and Danforth, they were captured by the Blackrock Orcs. Now, I don't know where they could possibly be, or if they're even alive, but I'd be a damn fool if I didn't ask you to try and find them. Search Anther's Mill and try to find some clues. Light bless you. All right, well, let's go do this. And here we are. A definite danger-filled camp full of orcs and what looks like one of the people we need. So let's just take out that scout. And it looks like that is Messner. He says, Keishan? You mean Johnny's alive? You bet you're sweet behind I'll help, but first, you gotta get me out of this damned cage. Alright. I bet I can do that. The key to this cage is stored in a pouch over at the warg den, just north of our location. Problem is, the pouch is resting safe atop a tree stump amidst a sea of bloodthirsty, man-killing wargs. You got one shot to get that key without waking up any of those sleeping wargs. Head to the warg den, find a way into the center, tread careful, and watch out for the Black Rock warg captain. Get the key and return to me. Now, I do remember that this quest used to be so much harder. I don't know if they're all still elites. Yes, they are all still elites. But, since Beryl here is a rogue, and a much higher level, this shouldn't be too hard. Let's just do a quick little invisibility thing. Go over here and grab these keys. Good job, Beryl. And back out. Now, this is a much harder thing to do at level. Not impossible. They've made it a lot easier than it used to be. And it looks like right here, we have the two that have Keishan's gear. So let's take them out. There we go. And there we go. We've got Keishan's knife and Keishan's bow. Did you terminate them? Yes, yes I did. The gnome quarter buzzes. Come in, Beryl. Do you copy? Trotman here. Great job on getting Keishan's weapons back. Now there's one final mission you have. Are you up for the challenge? Maybe? The gnome quarter clicks. His gear won't be enough, Beryl. His heart must also be in this battle, and to get that, we need items of sentimental value. The Blackrock Orcs of Render's Camp, located to the north, hold two items that belong to Keishan. Get up there, search their coffers for Keishan's headband, and a jade amulet left to him by his wife, who was brutally killed during a Blackrock Orc invasion. Bring them back to me, if you succeed. Alright. Well, let's also get the gang back together, so let's go free that dude from his cage. Again, this is much harder to do at level, but you know what? That is the joy of being max level. Did you get the cage key? Yes, yes I did, Messner. It's payback time! This quest line also gets much easier, because as you go, you pick up an army. What's up, Messner? Jorgensen. I don't know where Cockner or Danforth are, but Jorgensen was being held at Render's Camp, northeast of here. I was in the same crap-filled cage with him before they relocated me to Anther's Mill. If we're going to get him out, we need the key. A stone-cold witch from hell known as Atraka the Key Mistress holds tight to that thing. 
We'll have to kill her if we're going to get Jorgensen's cage key. She's up north in the valley leading to the burning steps. Let's go, kid. All right, let's get the gang back together. And there she is. The witch up on the mountaintop. So, we take her and her familiar out. Good job, us. And there we go. Jorgensen's cage key. Now all we have to do is go let him out. Now, the other thing that's a lot of fun about this quest line is you get little conversational snippets as you pick them up. Like, you ever notice how sarcastic the people living in Red Ridge are? Sometimes I just want to take a blow torch to that jackass Solomon's Town Hall. They're quite salty. It's also kind of funny because you do realize that WoW has maybe softened up a little, but not really. They've just sort of changed their quest text on a lot of the newer quests. I think that the newer quests have a lot more heart to them, especially in Dragonflight, but these are actually really good. And there we go, there's Jorgensen! Yay! Messner! Damn, it's good to see a friendly face. Get me out of here. Alright, payback's gonna hurt. I know where they're holding Cockner and Danforth. We gotta hurry. They were prepping them for a sacrifice. Alright, well. What have you got here, Mr. Johnson? Or Jorgensen? Good job, me. Cockner is up on the chopping block as we speak. The orcs brought in a Gurabashi witch doctor to perform a dark ritual on him. We need to kill that troll to free Crockner. Let's go. He's inside the cave, right there. Hang a right at the first fork. Alright, well, let's go get him. Getting the gang all the back together. Take out those guys. Hang a right. Alright. Well, we can't hang a right there. That's not actually the spot. So you go in, you come up, and you hang a right. There we go. I feel weak. I mean, weaker than normal. Like as if the light is less powerful this week. Probably just something I ate. Orc food gives me the crap. <laughs> okay. Like I said, you get a lot of really cute stuff. Alright, well, Cockner. Well, where am I? What happened? Messner? Jorgensen? Oh my gosh! We have to get Danforth. It might already be too late. Uh-oh. Well, get up, my man. And of course, he also has a quest for us. And last but not least, Danforth. Danforth is being tortured. Finally, gotta kill that guy. On the other side of the cave, there's no telling what state he's in by now. We need to get over there and save him. Overlord Barbarous has the key to the lever holding Danforth up. We work together as a team, we can kill that bastard Barbarous. Once Barbarous is dead, we use his key, get Danforth down, and we get out of here. Ready? I mean, I guess so. Also, what's in this uh, coffer here? Oh, it is Keishan's headband and amulet. So now we have almost everything that we need to maybe get the gang all back together. So I'm gonna go find Danforth. And there's the overlord. So we take him out. Very nice. We get that key. Awesome. And yeah, it looks like Danforth is in some serious trouble. Definitely. Strung up in between all that. All right, let's get let him down. There we go. Hey, Danforth. How you doing, my dude? Well, look at that. Team's all here. Everybody but Keishan. That's true. About damn time you sissy showed up. My arms were getting tired. Bravado. Definitely bravado. I don't know who you are, Missy, 
but you've earned the respect and admiration of Bravo Company. You managed to save all of our hides, kill a boatload of orcs in the process. Now, we return the favor. Get back to Lakeshire. Report to Colonel Trotman. We'll find Johnny and deliver the good news in person. With the Bravo Company back in action, these orcs don't stand a chance. All right, well, let's head back to Lakeshire and uh, reunite John Keeshan with his crew, his arrows, his bow, his favorite knife, his red headband, and the locket from his wife. So we're gonna head back there. Now, let me know if you want to see the rest of this story, because this, this we're just doing getting the crew back together. We could go on because this does go all the way through the entire zone and there's a whole lot more plot to do. But for now, let's get the gang all back together. All right, we are back in town. We just gotta turn all this in to the Colonel. Come on, boys. Let's go check with the Colonel. Colonel Trotman, I have a crew. Greetings. The return of the Bravo Company. For the Alliance. Colonel Trotman salutes. Unbelievable work, Beryl. You've managed to rescue the entire Bravo Company from the clutches of the Black Rock Orcs. With Keishan's team rescued and his belongings returned, there is no way Keishan can refuse us. Be careful. And his heart must be in it. Go with honor, friend. Did you locate the headband and the amulet? Yes, yes, I did. For the Alliance. I hope with these items and his crew all rescued, he'll have a change of work. We can't do this without Keishan. Be careful. Take this bundle of Keishan's possessions and head back to the Lakeshire Inn basement. Bravo Company's already there talking to Keishan. Remind him of who drew First Blood Barrel. Lakeshire needs Keishan. The Alliance needs Keishan. Dismiss, soldier. Go with honor, friend. All right, well, we'll see if he'll, he'll do it. I don't know that I would. I think I'd want to retire. But then again, I'm kind of a pacifist, which is ironic considering I play World of Warcraft. But, you know, even the best pacifist has a little bit of a violent side that I get out via video games. All right, down we go. What do you say, Keishan? Oh, it looks like he, he won the fight with Big Ed, so that's good to know. All right. Well, sir, also, are you going to put on a shirt? You again? Oh, well, I brought you your crew. Keishan takes the bundle from you and opens it. My bow? And knife? Where did you... Jade's amulet? My darling Jade. Keishan picks up his red head headband. We've got orcs to kill. Do, 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 do. And that is where we are going to leave it. Let me know if you would like to see the rest of the quest chain, because it goes everywhere. Pain train incoming. Johnny's back, baby. Oh, yeah. That's all they have to say. So, yeah, this is how we have gotten Bravo Company back together. Look at him, posing with his bow, looking like uh, the shirtless wonder that he is. And that is where we're going to leave it today. So, from Beryl, and John Keishan, and Danforth, and Messer, and even... Uh, Jorgensen and Cockner, which I probably said wrong this entire time, but from all of us, have a wonderful week, and let me know in the comments down below if you either want to see me complete this quest chain, or if you have a favorite quest chain that you would like to see, just drop it in the comments below, and I will see you next week. Have a good one.